Not Your Professional Walkthroughs Channel presents... Let me share with you the terrible wonders I have come to know. Hello and welcome everyone to another episode of Darkest Dungeon here on Not Your Professional Walkthroughs Channel with me, your host Max. Well, we have some options here guys. So, obviously, we have a ton of level 5 heroes. So, the expert level dungeons are available to us. But, what I would actually love to do before I head there, is to have at least the availability to upgrade our armor to level 5. This is gonna greatly increase our chance of survivability, and trust me, you do want to have the survivability when it comes to dealing with these guys. Two of these are getting rid of the freaking quirks, or are actually locking in some quirks. Let's increase the recovery. In robe, claiming communion with the divine. Madness. We're gonna invest a little into the abbey. It's gonna help make the town look much nicer. So, what are the options for a dungeon this week? A book of sanity, a minus 20 stress. Actually, we do have one of these, if I can say so. So this is a great trinket, especially if combined with, like, for example, uh, the barista's head or Dismas's head, right? So, perfect. It completely negates at least the stress part. Sure, Dismas will deal minus 20 max HP as well. But okay, let's say you want to put uh, someone with lesser healing ability on your team. Like Antiquarian or something. Sure, you can have actually a trinket for that, such as the Blood Course Medallion, but let's say you do not have it. So you're gonna use Junior's head, and then you're gonna drop in the Book of Sanity. So that's a really nice trinket, and the reward would be both crests and deeds. So potentially, with the Hag, which is a boss battle, would be a great choice for today's episode. I'm just gonna take a look at what's available elsewhere. Ancestral Mustache Cream. 18 freaking deeds? Long. Explore 90% of the rooms. Jesus. Okay, okay. That can be a challenge. Another Book of Sanity? Two of them at the same time. Wow. Okay. Damn. Okay. Talisman of the Flame. This is an amazing trinket for your heroes. Seriously, like... Super amazing when it comes to negating or dealing with stress. So, if you have these and you want to do, let's say... The Endless Run in the Color of Madness DLC. You can totally do that. But right now I'm kind of thinking about doing this, goddammit. Because 18 deeds and 15,000 gold. That, that's a hard thing to pass on. Okay, I'm actually seriously considering doing this, guys. Should we do a first level 5 raid? God damn it, I think I'm gonna actually go for it. Guys? Guys? The Ancestral Trinket is a nice thing to have. The thing about the Ancestral Trinkets is that there are only few of them. 
you will only be able to get one. And if you collect all the ancestral trinkets, you get actually an achievement in your Steam library or wherever you have the game currently. Uh, I'm not sure how it works, for example, on the GOG, but you kind of get what I'm trying to say here, right? Okay, so let's see what's available for us to work with. We should have more trinkets for the leper, come on. Seriously? Okay, let's unequip all the trinkets. Oh, seriously, we only have this? How is that even possible? Okay. Accuracy melee skill. I'm gonna give you this, my dear friend. <coughs> so we are going into the ruins. Okay, okay. So bleeding is not much of a thing. Dealing with stress is kind of a big thing. I want to grab the accuracy boost and let's give you... There ain't that many enemies which can move us around. Wanna increase the healing skill? Yeah, no, not really. I would rather increase the damage dealt by her. Damn it, damn it, damn it. What should we mix in for our lovely Musketeer as a mix of trinkets. We are gonna be dealing with the hardest difficulty of the heroes. We are talking champion level enemies. These guys don't like to screw around. So, yeah. 34, 42. Lazy Eye. Range skill, uh, that sucks. Well, the mark of uh, the musketeer can potentially do something beneficial for us here. Okay, well, this is gonna be a long, long crawl, so we need to make sure we have all the goodies. Medicinal herb, bandage, shovels, anti-venom, skeletal key, torches. Check, check. God damn it, we need to win this, because if I were to lose one of these guys, that's gonna be just super, super bad. Now, the thing is that potentially we can have some enemies which spawn in stealth as well, because we are talking, of course, the expert level difficulty and also things like ghouls are super common here so stress is a really really annoying thing Without to deal with of your lineage once familiar god now, damn Warren. look at this this is just a terrible terrible maze i'm not gonna interact with you for now because obviously i do require the supplies, we just started the dungeon crawl. I do wonder how many enemy encounters can we run into here. Ancient traps lie in wait, unsprung and thirsting for blood. Okay, we're, I'm gonna take Impressive a full stack all. of gold. If you value such things. Yes, I do, Wayne. Yes, I do. 
So most likely what I want to do here is go down here, return to the starting room, go into this room and then continue our journey. That's a Even shovel. the cold stone seems bent on preventing passage. So far so good, but that's gonna change pretty damn soon. Cultus Champion, 29 HP. Menacing Gargoyle, 14. Cultist Witch, 25. This is gonna be just a pain in the ass. Obviously, it's gonna take us that many more hits to start killing the enemy. So, doing something like finishing an encounter in the first few rounds, well, you can forget it. Well, that is unless you get too many criticals with your lovely little leper here. And that's half of his HP gone. Uh, that's a stress hit, pretty damn big one. Yeah, I don't like this. 93 stress. Right from the get-go, we're gonna have probably afflicted no hero. Quarter. So let's do this. I'm gonna try and deal with you. Is broken. Maintain the I'm gonna heal the leper. The leper will basically utilize the medicinal herbs and the bandage. As the fiend falls, a faint hope blossoms. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay. Not too bad for the first encounter, but the stress is... That's, that's gonna be an issue. Okay, second... Wow! Why are the gargoyles always around the occultist? What's up with that? Oh yeah, of course, since you're talking about, like, champion level enemies, uh, what might happen is that even if you have high enough light, you will not be actually able to surprise the enemy party, and their speed will be crazy high, so usually they can potentially start before your heroes, so you can receive a bunch of damage before it's even your turn to do something. No. Yes. Yeah, we should be able to sustain even with the bleed. Let's heal the highwayman because obviously he is receiving ton of damage. Continually onslaught. Lovely Destroy hit. Them. Lovely oh. hit. We're gonna get rid of you. The two corpses in front of the goddamn gargoyle are annoying. And that's a heal for the leper. Yeah, one more round, we should be able to deal with that. I'm gonna move you in closer, and you should kill the gargoyle. The ground quakes. Just like that. Just like that. Be wary. Triumphant pride precipitates a dizzying fall. Okay, so here is a fun thing. Uh, I'm not gonna take the emerald. We have a full stack of anti-venom, but I'm not gonna interact with the locked sarc. Sarfac sarcophagus 
Yeah, am I pronouncing it correctly or am I screwing up once again? Finding the stuff is only the first test. Now it must be carried home. I do need the gold, but I do need the trinkets, so 1000 gold will be left unfortunately behind. And of course I did not check the freaking note. And these two idiots will be dealing ton of stress. So this is where actually if you want to deal with horror damage or the horror affliction would come in hand. And that's a first afflicted hero. Yeah, fearful. He will be screwing around for the rest of the raid. Hopefully he will not get our guys killed. Hopefully. We need to get rid of the raving madman before we get rid of the royalty. Of course he dodged. And they're gonna be stacking up stress on our leper so he can potentially have heart attack well, that's unfortunate beautiful yeah he's in stealth so the point blank shot will not have any effect here you know what let's heal our party And you, my lovely, you will hit the Bone Royalty as hard as you can. Okay, that's half of the HP down. You are taken care of. Beautiful hit. Really nice critical. Really nice critical. We're gonna primarily heal our musketeer because the leper is a tank and he can take some damage. Come on, big boy. Let's take care of the sharpshooter. Creatures can be felled, they can be beaten. I do want to take the sapphire. So, let's do this. Not happy with the choice, but it's a jewel. Potentially, we can run into more of them. So. I'm gonna take the risk on that. Hopefully I'm not gonna get immediately after I spent a ton of food on these idiots. Uh, no, don't interact with it. I wanted to use the goddamn holy water on it. Dude! I could have reduced your stress. Man, you're such an idiot when you are fearful. Wealth beyond measure. Awarded to the brave and the foolhardy alike. Let's see what we will deal with here. Oh, Bone Bearer. Okay, Bone Bearer is a pain in the ass enemy to deal with. Obviously, I'm gonna have to prioritize him because just because he is in the battle, all of our enemies in the ranks have added damage. And trust me, you don't want to be taking additional 25% damage. And that's another boost. Plus more damage even. So this encounter will definitely hurt. Okay. So. Point blank. Beautiful. 
Musketeer will definitely go after the Bone Bearer. God damn, he is stacking up the damage so highly on the freaking Sharpshooter. I'm super seriously worried that he's gonna deal like a massive crit. Yeah, 22. That's most of the HP down. It's at least one of you down. Oh man, he just protected the sharpshooter. Meaning we are going after the bearer. Because he can be calling in support. And he's gonna keep stacking up the sharpshooter as much as he can. So definitely he is our priority for now. Because one more hit like this for our Vestal. And she is going down. Executed. So please, 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 please be able to kill the Bone Bearer. Yeah. Okay, let's do this. And I'm gonna do... Almost, almost. Just afraid that the Marksman will go before any of our healers. And I really don't want to get hurt at the death door. Okay, he is down. It's really important to take him down with a priority. Let's do a heal. He is still guarded for one round. Is that a stun? No, wonderful. Yeah, that's a dead store. Perched at the very precipice of oblivion. Decimated. One enemy down. One vessel out of the dead store. Two enemies down. And we are getting super far into the battle, so i rather end it here, rather than having to deal with potential... Brought low and driven into the mud. ...potential support which may arrive. Okay, I want the protective collar, God damn it. You know what, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna regret it maybe later, definitely. But those are the choices I'm making. And the limited space which is available to us is gonna make this difficult. And here we go. Ghoul and Gargoyles. A pretty damn common combo against the heroes in our ranks, especially in the rune section. Is that a stun? Yeah, that's gonna be real, real pain in the ass to deal with. Oh man, seriously? What did you get? Oh man, plus 30 stress. That's just gonna be pain in the ass. Pass. Injury and despondence set the stage for heroism. Lovely cowardice. hit. Lovely hit. She resisted to the goddamn bleed. Damn, that's the second time you actually missed. He's gonna keep stunning our vessel this way. Oh my god. Returns even the boldest. This is so annoying, guys. Don't do that.
point blank. And now we should actually finish you. The bigger the beast. The one gargoyle should not be that much of a trouble, but we do have so many afflictions, horrors, and just diseases. It's gonna be pain in the ass to deal with. Especially if the gargoyle will be dodging everything we put him through. is taking up two slots now it's gone yeah that's not gonna do too much to get rid of the gargoyle so let at least try to get our HP somewhat back up and I should add the encounter because I really, really don't want to be taking it too far if it's not worth it, especially. So you see the difference in the expert level. Obviously the enemies are not screwing around and your survivability is really decreasing. This is why, actually, I prefer to have at least the armor upgraded to the level 5. That way, even if you have to hit the enemy multiple times, you have much higher chance of surviving the encounters. Okay, I do need these. The way is lit. The path is clear. We require only the strength to follow it. Also, I feel like the light is going down at much faster pace than it would go if I would be in Is like the trinkets and baubles. Apprentice blood. Wayne, the apprentice or the veteran level dungeon. Okay, this will definitely help us. I'm gonna go into this room and we will try to camp. I do regret not having a freaking plague doctor in my party because the two diseases are super annoying. And this also means that I'm gonna have to keep the guys... Wow, we are going through so much food suddenly. I'm gonna have to keep the guys in the sanitarium to get rid of the diseases which means they will not be available for us a moment of respite a chance to steel oneself against the coming horrors Okay. As the light gains purchase, spirits are lifted, and purpose is made clear. So the thing to note here is that we can be running into ton of madmans and other stress dealing enemies till the end of the encounter. Two sharpshooters can be trouble, especially for our softer targets in the back. Yeah, how did I know they will go after either the Vestal or the Musketeer? Oh, and he dodged! What a surprise! Okay, that's one sharpshooter down. Now let's work on the other one. 
the sergeant will still remain in stealth. So he is in stealth, but he well he was in stealth. Now he's no longer. So point blank. Damn it, how did you miss that? Don't you dare skip the turn. Okay, I'm gonna mark the sharpshooter. Because I can hit in both with a pistol shot from the highwayman and I can shoot at it with the musketeer too. He needs to get healed up. Nice, 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 nice. Beautiful shot. Ah, oh, dude. A trifling victory, but a victory nonetheless. And do we have anything to interact with this? No, but I'm gonna still use it. It's still a buff. It's still gonna help me in this encounter. Okay, two gargoyles, witch, and a cultist champion. That's definitely a bad start of a joke. Come on, buddy. Hit them. Make me proud. And our vessel is getting super dangerously close to being afflicted, too. Okay, so we are using both of these. God damn! Look at that! That was brutal! Yeah, I'm gonna have to probably mark her for added damage. Good boy, keep resisting. And dodging, even better. Oh crap. Yeah, paranoid is another bad the affliction. The shadows whisper of conspiracy. Because she might actually not do the task which we put her to do. Meaning, if I tell her to attack someone, she might refuse to do that. And, of course, much more things which we will need to deal with. Also, our musketeer will get afflicted soon. And Highwaymen potentially as well. Come on, buddy. Don't get stunned. They are not so stunning. Oh, crap. Yeah, that's another paranoid one. The mind cannot hope to withstand such an assault. So only one left is the Highwayman, who is at 99 points of stress. God, I really need to kill the freaking witch. Well struck. Good girl. Oh my god! Success so clearly in view. Are you serious with this? A trick of the light? How is it that we have two of them? What the hell? This is so freaking weird. Oh crap. Okay, so let's think.
We do need the crests. We do need the collars, or at least one of them would be nice to have. I do need the deeds, and we are completely out of crests. Sapphire is less valuable than two emeralds. And I do want the deeds. I cannot potentially do this, so... God damn it, this is just... Not funny at all. Did you dodge? No, of course not. And that's another stress. Okay, at least you, at Anger least you will power. have some Unleash sort of it. moments in the rest of the encounters. Oh crap! Bearer plus general, seriously. With three heroes afflicted, this is gonna be just painful. Marking you, you're just gonna keep attacking the general. I don't care. I'm hoping that the added damage or bonus or boost which will be dealt by the Bearer will not make the captain into a complete machine for killing. We're gonna move you back so you can be attacking the bearer as well. We need to heal the leper. I need to protect the vestal because the sharpshooter will be prioritizing the two heroes in the back. Don't you dare skip your turn. No, why? You're supposed to attack the bearer. And that's a stun. Okay, at least you are doing something useful, my friend. I'm not sure if the bearer can recall support like the bone captain I'm not sure if he will just bring up like a usual skeleton terrible vistas of emptiness reveal themselves we need to get the leper out of the death store highwayman is getting close as well So that's two heals at least that I need to deal with. Beautiful, almost there. Don't do something stupid. Okay, critical is wonderful. Lots of appreciation. And that's how we do. And you're gonna seriously give me two tapestry. And insidious killer. Okay. So four stacks of gold that that's fine. A full stack of busts. Almost a full stack of deeds. Still thinking this is just stupid as hell, but uh, what the hell? A suit of armor. Okay, that's at least a boost. You will switch with him. God, I'm so thankful at least you have the powerful affliction. Because if I would have four negative ones, that would be just bad. And look at that. Immediately as we hit the pitch darkness, we get attacked by the brigands. This is gonna be fun. Passion is a rarity in the fevered pitch of battle. Precision Beautiful hit. Power. 
And you should be able to repose. Beautiful, beautiful. We're gonna heal you. And you're gonna kill him. That's what I like to see. As victories mount, so too will resistance. I'm gonna be going into these rooms because obviously the goal here is to explore 90% of them. Uh, these three are definitely gonna have to go into... Well, two of them are going into sanitarium to get rid of the disease. One of them can go into the abbey to take care of the stress. One HP left. Jesus freaking Christ. It's really interesting that we are starting to run into the brigands here. Brigands are basically like your usual raiders, just more professional. And they obviously can therefore deal ton of damage. God damn it. I was hoping he would kill him because if he attacks the highwayman, that's another freaking death door. Yeah, we have multiple death door. On the brink, the no, only one. Okay, we can totally keep the highwayman alive. He will be fine. You see, what did I say? The two corpses are gonna be annoying. And that's a repose, hopefully. Yes! God damn it! That was good. That was some good stuff. God damn it, don't do this. Jesus lady, come on. Seize this momentum. Push on to the task's end. I'm gonna do this. And what I'm gonna do. I need one skeletal key. I wanna grab the gold. No what screw it with the shovel. Let's do this. Let's camp. Huddled together, furtive and vulnerable. Prevention, prevention. Okay. If religious, that worked. You guys are seriously In just getting on my nerves may we here. Find victory. The problem which we are actually facing now is that if we hit a hunger check, uh, well, we can be pretty damn screwed here. How about we take the portraits? Okay, well. I'm gonna go through here because there's only one battle. Two sacks. Waiting to be spent. This one is empty. At least we have the light, so that's something. Okay. At least no stress dealing, guys. But the marksman or the sharpshooter and the lancer will definitely be attacking our back rows. Beautiful boosts. And improvement. This will do at least something. 
So potentially the Lancer would go for Highwayman. We can deal with that. That's a death door. Okay. Now the Sergeant can actually attack our musket. God damn it, seriously? Come on, girl! Oh, crap. Death if I'm gonna lose a level 5 Vestal, I'm gonna get super furious. The Musketeer is already is pissing no me off. God damn it. Foolhardy. Seriously? This is how you're gonna do this? God damn it, guys. Come on, don't do stupid shit like this. That's two level 5 heroes that we lost. God freaking damn it. Yeah, that's potentially third dead hero. A hand breadth from becoming unwound. And now we are screwed, and guess why? Look at these four trinkets which I need to take. What? Uh, I want the freaking protective collar. Damn it! Damn it to hell. And he's at that store. So if I get a hunger check, I'm totally screwed. Please don't tell me there's going to be one more hunger check. I just need to get into this room and we are done with the dungeon. Please, please, please make it there. Yeah, okay. God damn it. I'm not happy. The great ruins belong to us. And we will find whatever secrets they hold. Well, that is the expert level dungeon crawl for you guys. Obviously, I could have taken like a plague doctor to be dealing blight, healing the damage, crusader to deal with stress, gesture to deal with stress. But, well, I screwed up. The two level 6 heroes do not make up for the two level 5 dead heroes. Especially because we lost a vessel and a musketeer. Damn it. Damn it. A fresh irritant to some. A sanguine memory to me. Well, so, and I'm pretty damn sure I'm gonna see ton of comments on how badly I did mess this one up. And trust me, I'm pretty damn aware of how I did, so you don't have to remind me. But, uh, of course, this will give us room to work further on getting better at the dungeons and potentially saving Hamlet from the doom 
So stay tuned, check the channel, maybe subscribe, and I will see you on the future episodes. Till then, I wish you all the best guys. Bye bye.